Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be a long episode, super chatty, action-packed, fast, because I'm on a time limit. I hate being on a time limit, but we're gonna do it, okay, okay? It is Saturday morning, not Saturday morning. It's Saturday afternoon. It is actually 20 afternoon, which means beer 30 is fine. Today, we are drinking Dallas Blonde, and this is from Deep Ellium, I think, E-L-L-I-U-M, Brewing Company, and it is loaded with citrusy and floral hops, totally my jam, Golden Balance Session Ale. This was sent to me by the lovely Mace of Skeins. We're gonna talk about her later, like a whole bunch, because she's basically amazing. So let's try this, because she knows the way to my heart. Send me booze. Hmm. Let's get started, grab your drink. Oh my gosh, so much to do today. So we're gonna jump right into it. I am Chevy Rel. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you are an OG, always welcome back to the land of crazy in the stuff room with Chevy Rel. I talk about knitting and crocheting and all sorts of fibery type things. Sorry, it's been a minute. If you watched my 10 Yarny Questions tag video, that I posted before this, you know why I've been gone. If you haven't watched it yet and you wanna know, go check that out. Long story short, I sprained my ankle and I was hung up. Dan is going to come in later. He also hurt himself. So you'll get to hear why we need to be wrapped in bubble tape. Bubble wrap, bubble tape, bubble wrap. Okay, let's get started. FOs, I only have one. Uh, Mama Jean's birthday was at the beginning of April and I made her this it is by Lolly and Grace. It's embroidery. I also snagged her a seam ripper from Dogstar Knits, Jake, to go with it. Here's a picture of the one that I made. I, of course, forgot to take a picture of it, and I asked her to take one and send it to me so you could see it. Obviously, she already has it. That is my only FO. This was so much fun. It really, really was. I love French knots, which is really weird because I didn't think that I would, but I really do. And I've done them before. You know I've done them on that uh, embroidery sampler, which I forget who that's by now. But for some reason, they worked way better for me here, and I loved them a lot. Now we're on to whoops. First up is the Lady Charming by Vera Valamaki. That is a $6.22 US pattern. This yarn is Briar Rose and the Joyful Base. It's discontinued, deep, deep stash. You've seen it before. I am this far now. Last time you saw it was here. This is my Miss Frost. I love these things. FRK Frost that Charlotte got me. I think a robin is trying to build a nest up here and they're making a mess. FRK Frost, I'll link her. I think she sells through Facebook. She's across the pond, and uh, I, I talked about it in episode 56 when Charlie sent it to me, and Benta told me that FRK stands for Mrs., so it's like Mrs. Frost. Anywho, I have twisted cables on here, and look, I did it again. I mean, so I have so many cables to fix on this, and I am going to do a video. I just haven't gotten that far because... I have been loving some of the other things I've been knitting on. So I will get to it, I promise. Next up is my tapestry vest by Skano. Free pattern. I asked you guys about this. You were so, so helpful. I had already watched the tutorial video from Skano on YouTube and it wasn't helpful for what I was looking for. They have these things called full forms and half forms in the pattern and it was just written not in a way that my brain comprehended. One of you, and I apologize, I don't remember who, said to check out Very Pink Knits because she's done a couple Skano pattern tutorials. Dude, one of the patterns that she does that she totally walks through has these full form, half form things in this shawl. I think it's called a garden shawl, I could be wrong. But the way she explained it, totally got my brain to click and I got it. But I haven't really done a whole lot because I've been knitting on something else that's like super cool and I can't put down actually two other things. Here it is. This yarn is by Johnny Bow Dyes. 
This is a decay and this is a mohair. So I got to the first full form and what full form is, it's these waves, these short row waves. Full form goes all the way down and half form does, wait, this is a full form. These two, the two full, whatever those are. This is a half form. I feel like that's all my brain needed to, needed to see. It just did not make sense to me until I watched that very pink knits video. So I will work on this more. Just like I said, I have, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Sorry, I know I'm going really fast. If you have questions, let me know. I could be skipping over some things. Next up, Dan's birthday socks. Dan's birthday is the 14th of April. So, you know, uh, they are late. I gave them to him with the needles in them. This is also Johnny Bow Dyes. This was his beach. It's kind of getting blown out. This was his beach. Well, I call it beach. I don't know if he had it. Did you name this, John? I don't remember if it actually had a name. This is his beachy colorway because see, it goes blue water to foamy waves to sand. Dan called this as soon as I got it. My regular two at a time fish lips kiss heel. I was gonna try the flegal heel and I looked at it and I didn't have the brain power at the time because I was on a time crunch trying to get it finished for Dan's birthday. So I just went with the tried and true fish lips kiss heel, Judy's magic cast on and there, there you have it. Are you doing FOs? Am I doing FOs? Yeah. I already did my FO. Oh, those look like my socks. They're not an FO. Oh. Oh, they will be. So that was a new cast on for you as well. Next is my Mosaic Goons by No. Close. Rude. Go scratch someplace else. Next is my Mosaic Goons, which is a crochet pattern by Nomad Stitches. It is a ten dollar and seventy five cent pattern. The last time you guys saw this, I had a goof. I transposed this. I had gold with the wine color in it, Merlot. This is Parliament Yarns, Mag Magpie Yarns Parliament that I got down in Virginia. And I ripped this back, fixed it. I know a lot of you, ditto. Hey, I know a lot of you said that you would have left it and typically I would have. I don't know why it bugged me so bad, but oh, actually, no, sorry, it's upside down. I know a lot of you said to keep it and like as a design element and I probably could have, but I don't know, for some reason in my head, I was hung up on it. It's so weird how some, some things I want to be off on and then other things I don't. Next is a new cast on. I'm so loving it. I'm so loving it. I am doing the V-back tee by Jamie Huffman. It is a $7 pattern, I think. Where am I? Where's my? Yes, $7 pattern. Uh, Benta from Arctic Crafts finished hers on her last episode. You should go look at it. So cool. I am so excited for this. I am using, which some of you have seen on Instagram if you follow me, my Hocus Pocus Advent Calendar from Trilogy Yarns that came out last October. I was waiting for the right pattern and this came up and I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. If I can figure out how to show it to you. All right, look at that. I love it so flipping much. Top down, this is actually the front, hence, the V back, but you can wear it both ways. It's reversible. Then I have haphazardly faded them, kind of. I am doing short rows down here at the bottom. I have this many colors left. I'm weighing it, like I'm weighing the skeins as I go to make sure I have enough for the rounds. I am having so much fun with it and I cannot wait to wear it. I did not gauge swatch. I know, usually I do. I did not gauge swatch. I am worried that it's going to be a little big, but I'd rather it be too big than too small. I'll just pop it in the dryer and shrink it a little bit. It is super wash, but you know, I'll make it work. I'm not that worried about it. The other thing I wanna point out is I am using my stitch, flo stitch floss, is that what she called it? Stitch thread from Charlotte. These are so cool. So they're like a rubber. I don't know how I can explain that, but you stick your tapestry needle in the end there and then they hold your stitches. 
It's so nice. Now, I will tell you, they're a little bit tacky getting them on, but I love them. Once they're on, they're perfect. You can adjust these, you can tie them real tight so they're out of your way, but then when you try them on, you can tie them down looser so you can get your arms through. I'm really excited. So that's one of the projects that I have been wanting to work on and work on and work on and work on. Also, if you don't watch Needles at the Ready and you like that advent calendar, well actually if you don't watch Needles at the Ready you should, just saying. Kevin and Ray, they're awesome. Ray also has a Hocus Pocus advent calendar from Nancy, the Dyer Behind Trilogy Yarns, and he is making a uh, pattern that I don't remember. It's a shawl pattern, but it's super fun how his is knitting up. It's just super fun to see all the colors come together. If you want to see my progress or more of the colors from the advent calendar, I have a, it's called HP Advent in my saved stories on Instagram. And I took a picture every day. I opened those and then I'm also taking pictures of my progress for the VBAC tee. So it'll kind of be a beginning to end. I'm hoping that I'll end it with me wearing it. <laughs> Cross your fingers. And my last whip, you guys know it, you guys know it. I am loving this. This is the Forest Park cardigan by, does it say, K Hopkins. And it is uh, an $8 pattern. I am using Yarn Less Traveled in the Alchemy of Herbs Enchantment Collection. And I absolutely love it, you guys. Hold on, I'm gonna try this on and try not to like rip my needles out. I'm also using the Mrs. Frost stitch thread on this. I have messed it up. Isn't it awesome? I love it so much. Let me try it on. So far I'm loving the way it fits. Okay, I messed it up because I misread the instructions. I read this, hold on, let me take it off. This is mosaic knitting, not color work. That's what the back of mosaic knitting looks like. I love it, it's so much fun. If you haven't mosaic knit yet, you should. And mosaic crochet, they're both fun. So for this, I don't know if I'm giving away the secret sauce or not, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. The pattern said, start this an inch before you end the raglan seam. And my brain read, start this an inch before you end the decreases for the raglan seam. In the pattern, as you can see, it's way closer, which whatever, I don't care. What I'm gonna do is just do this that far down from this, it'll be fine. So the next time you see that, I hope to have a lot more work on it. I can't wait, I'm loving it. Thank you to those of you who have sent me links to elbow pads. I've saved them, I will, or elbow patches, not elbow pads, can you tell I'm a skater? I will probably wait until I'm closer to being finished with it before I order them. And I did have in my head for some reason, I had in my head that I wanted like a chunky corduroy elbow patch. I don't know what I'm gonna do, we'll see. Okay guys, that's all my whips. That was like super fast speed, I'm excited. The reason that I'm in a hurry is because today's Cole's second birthday. We're going home to see him. We're just having some cake and ice cream. We are supposed to be there at three. So that's why I'm like, what was that thing called on? Uh, was it funniest video? Jackalope, fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me. Is that what with uh, the dude from Full House? How's that for some 90s throwback for you? Next is enabling and then happy mail. So I bought some stuff and some people sent me stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been totally spoiled since the last time I talked to you. I have a friend, her name's Taylor, and she started doing those tumblers that everybody has. And I asked her if she would make me a custom one. And she was like, hells yeah. I will link her below. She has a Facebook page. It's called Python Python tumblers and more. She works a full-time job, she's a mom, and she does this as a hobby on the side. So be kind if you want one of these, but it's so fun. Look what she made me. I sent her my logo. It's getting blown out, obviously. And then she put my name on it. She has all sorts of different shapes and sizes. This one was $30. I don't know what the other ones are. 
This is my summer, oh, dude, dude, dude. So she'll be linked if you want one. She can basically do anything. So if you have an idea, she has pictures of all the other things that she's done, do it. I do have to say that Leela Styles on Etsy, her name's Angelica, makes yarn condoms. Let me show you one. These are not Angelica's. These were sent to me as a gift and I absolutely freaking love them. And I apologize, I am blanking on who sent them to me. I got a dog bag with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell me if you're the one who sent these to me. I love them. They're awesome. They're sort of like ball sacks, but more like a condom, right? So balls go in sacks, but you wrap the yarn with the yarn condom. Now, she does not call them yarn condoms. I call them yarn condoms. She calls them yarn cozies or yarn coats or yarn sleeves or any of those things work. Anywho, I ordered two of them. I should have had them by now and the post office lost them, like legit lost them. She mailed them on like the 23rd of March or something ridiculous. I let her know that the post office lost it. I was like, hey, just so you know, I feel bad because this totally isn't your fault, but you know, I just want you to know it's lost. I don't know what to do. Like, I'll wait for it. And she's like, I'll totally send you another one. I'm like, well, we'll just wait a, a little longer. Um, it was past the time that it was lost per the post office. But I was like, well, hopefully it shows up, right? I'm like, I'll wait a little bit. Well, she messaged me and was like, I really hate that you didn't get it. Um, please let me refund you or send you another one. Which would you prefer? And I was like, you are so flipping sweet. I said, I will, I want them. I want them. Wait till you see them. The anticipation's killing you, right? If you have them still, I, I would like what I purchased. I said, if the other package ever shows up, I, I'll send it back totally. And she's like, don't worry about it, keep it. And I was like, oh, you're so sweet. So Leela Styles, haven't even gotten the product yet. She is amazing, Angelica, she'll be linked below. Take a drink for every time I say, it'll be linked below. Already customer service is top notch. So I said, that is so sweet. If it ever shows up, I'll use it as a giveaway on the podcast. Send good vibes out to the lost mail of the universe that it finds its way home. Hey guys, future Chev is here. And it's because guess what came in the mail? I got my yarn condoms. Yeah. I mean, I saw it and was immediately in love, which y'all know. This is not the lost package. This is the redo, which came super fast. That first package is for show lost. And then I saw this one and just had to get it. Dude, She-Ra, Slimer, He-Man, my 80s, 90 heart. This, I forget, Rainbow Bright, but I forget its name, a snorkel. Is that what they were called, snorkels? I'm pretty sure, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Care Bears, the Ducks, Rescue Rangers. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Then she sent me an extra because she's so sweet. I mean, not only did she replace this because it was lost, but then she felt bad and sent me an extra one. I mean, so cool. Yeah, I love them. Leela Styles, she'll be linked. She also sent me some tea. I got some orange spice tea. And she sent me a nice postcard and I got a couple stickers. Thank you, Angelica. Next. I've talked about the Woolies before, the Woolies podcast. Haley from the Woolies podcast has stickers and I ordered them and they are so freaking cute. First off, here's one of her stickers. She is, Haley, correct me if I'm wrong, She's Lochnitz on Instagram. She is a, a tattoo apprentice. So she shows all of her artwork, super cool. They live in Pennsylvania. I got this sticker, Lochnitz. Yarn Slut, obviously. Here's the Woolies, that's their uh, podcast logo. Crafty Wench, right. And Goth Grand, wait, what? Goth Grandma Knits. This was a freebie and I need to look that person up. I wanna know who a goth grandma is. Is that her? Hold on, let me look it up right now. Oh, okay, so the page isn't coming up at Goth Grandma Knits. Page isn't coming up, but 
She came up, look how cute she is. This has been bare for so long. And now I'm going to, and I also have another, it's like this, but black. It's my summer pond drunk because it keeps ice forever and it's big and you don't have to refill it very often. I'm gonna cover my other one in stickers and this in stickers, I'm really excited. So that being said, the next thing I ordered from Kay, who does the Lazy Sunday podcast. She is the one that sent me, uh, do you remember the Cornish pasties? And I still haven't made them. I want them really bad. I want to make those. I should put those on the list. I always forget about it. Dan will totally make those for me. I bet you. Anyway, I had never heard of a pasty, 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 pasty. I did that the last time too. I guess they have them in Michigan, but she's from Cornwall. She dyes yarn and she does stitch markers. So I ordered some stitch markers. Well, she sent me, you know, extras, her. She sent me that sticker. And then this one, which, you know, I love. I follow the insect hashtag on Instagram. So much fun. You should see the stuff that pops up in that. Um, excuse me, sir. Hello. What are you doing? Yeah. There's people out there he has to save us from. Okay, so I ordered, hey, 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 mama's recording. I ordered, hey, Bubba's, get, Jiminy Christmas. Okay, I ordered these guys. Look at these honkin' hooks. Aren't those fun? Now, they look heavy, they're not heavy. But I ordered the death card, the death tarot card. This was an extra, a moon. I love you, thank you so much. And then I ordered this little guy. So I just thought that this looked totally magical. I love anything in a little glass jar for some reason. I think they're so cute. So this came with it. In here, there's rose petals, which promotes love, self-love and healing, and the flower of love. There's rosemary, which symbolizes love and loyalty to self. Lavender for relaxation and to purify and strengthen pure love. Sugar to sweeten the relationship with self. Pink salt for cleansing, purifying, and grounding. Rose quartz, the stone of unconditional and universal love. Amethyst, the all healer, stimulates creativity and enhances psychic ability. Orange oil for sweetness, love, luck, and prosperity. And gold wax, sealed with gold, the master healer. I love it so much. So much fun. Then she sent me little candies. Do you remember these? She sent me snacks the last time. These are so yummy, these little cheddar crackers. And she sent me uh, Love Organic Tea, a heartwarming touch of rose, chamomile, and lavender. So thank you so much, Kay. I love it, love it, love it. Then a big purchase, some of you saw this also on Instagram. You guys, I think you guys know, I've been bitching about my ball winder. This is a royal, I have had this for eons. I mean, it's the only ball winder I've ever owned and I've had it for years. It doesn't hold big balls. And the mechanisms on the inside are obviously all plastic. And she makes real bad noises. And I have just been waiting for her to break. If it's a big skein, I have to finish with hand winding it. Like I'm really surprised she hasn't broken already. So, La, isn't she beautiful? That, my friends, is a Stanwood. I'm sure you've all heard about it if you have done any research in ball winders. I've only used it once, but it was amazing. It holds a 10 ounce ball. It's sturdy AF, plus you can hook up a drill to it and wind so you don't have to crank. How freaking cool is that? I put it off for a really long time and I finally just bit the bullet and did it. Everybody said, I will not be disappointed. Happy mail, you guys. My friend Wendy from Virginia, the one that I went and visited, you know how there are those people on the planet 
who you just know are amazing humans. I mean, there's lots of people who are nice, lots of people who are cool, but then there are these people who walk amongst us who are just extra. They're like extra good and extra awesome. And you know that they would bail you out of jail if you called them. They would take you to the airport at 2 a.m. to catch a flight. I mean, those people, Wendy is those people. Wendy is those people. Her heart is bigger than her body. She's amazing. So she sent me for my birthday an entire set of legit mint julep cups. A six piece set of mint julep cups. I have never had a mint julep. She sent me a recipe. I am saving it because I wanna use Mama Jean's mint. And I'm gonna do it uh, sometime this summer when I'm home at the farm. So that's why I haven't had one yet. But she sent me the recipe and we're all gonna have mint juleps. Then she knew that I wanted you know, my elbow patches, and it made her think, she's like, I don't know if this will work for your elbow patches, but I immediately thought of my mom's Mooten Mountain. Have you ever heard of that? Her mom had a Mountain Mooten. How do you say it? Now I feel dumb. Mountain, it's M-O-U-T-O-N. It's the French word for mutton, and it's made from lamb and sheep pelts and it was popular in the 50s. Her mom had this coat that's 65 years old, and Wendy, it's over 65 years old, and Wendy cut it up and used it for something and sent me a piece. So she was thinking like this for the elbow patch, but look at, I mean, the inside is, look at that. What? How freaking cool is that? What I'm gonna do with this, I'm, I'm not gonna use it for elbow patches cause you know, I can't, I could, but I can't, I'm not gonna. What I'm gonna use it for is I am going to make treadle covers for my spinning wheel. Now I don't know when this will be down the road. I mean, treadling on that. So thank you so much, Wendy. I love repurposing. I love the fact that this is Wendy's mom's. She passed away. For those of you who watch uh, Billy, the Crafty Floridian, when we went to visit her, which is who I surprised, you guys remember, you OGs, Wendy sent Billy with a bunch of her mom's pins and brooches for her bags. So Wendy's mom like lives on all across the fiber community and I love it. You'll see that sometime in the future. Thank you, Wendy, for, for just being an amazing human being. Thank you. Okay, Sharon sent me, she said that she went to BACA or B-A-C-A. -A. I don't know what that is. It's B-A-C-A -A had a ride on Sunday and when I saw these pins, they just screamed your name. Thank you. So she wrapped them for, you guys, I'm totally holding that upside down and it says shit show and I didn't notice it until I was editing. First off, in a dishcloth, how awesome is that? If that's not a, a maker, I don't know what is. <laughs> of course. And then the other ones I'm wearing, obviously. And then look, little brass knuckles. Thank you, Sharon, I love them. Then Mama Dot from Lima, Ohio, which is close to me in relation to most of you. I mean, it's a couple hours. It's not Grandma Dot, baby. It's Mama Dot. We have a Grandma Dot who lives in Bowling Green. It's actually Dan's grandma. Mama Dot lives in Lima. And she saw these from Rose Likes Crochet and thought that I needed them in my world. So thank you very much. I love them. Ditto got some loving as well. Lynn sent him another bark box. You guys, he's so spoiled. We cannot bring a box into the house without him thinking it's for him now. He loves all of his toys. Do you guys follow Hey It's Rebecca on Instagram? She is a co-host of the Mean Girls podcast, but they have not recorded in a really long time. I won't hold it against them. I know life gets busy, obviously. Look how long it took me to record this episode. But she has been making cards and they are amazing. They are amazing. I think she should sell them. She could make an entire line that they could sell in stores. She cuts up books and puts them all together. I mean, mine says, I've got a secret. I got diarrhea all over the floor. Smell became so bad I was going to throw up. Touch it, Andy said, a moment of awkwardness. 
How much? And he gave me a dollar. I was ashamed. <laughs> I love them. She shares them on Instagram. They are so funny. She is so clever what she comes up with. So thank you. I love it. I am going to return a card. I just have not gotten that far. I am, you are going, it's not going to be nearly, I'm not making anything. You're just going to get a regular card, but I am going to reply to your letter, snail mail. I'm not crafty that way. Like scrapbooky, I, I suck at it. Hey, me again. I went to the post office and I got some happy mail and I thought I might as well, since I have time, show it to you. Okay, all I did was this. Look, I have no idea who this is from, so we are in it together. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, it's either Rosalind or Rosalind. I'm not positive. She sent this to me as a thank you for podcasting and said that I can keep it or pass it on for prizes, depending on what I want to do with it. And except for there's a bag in here that she purchased just for me. So let's see what's in here. I have never had Quince & Co. before. This is the maple colorway. Wow. And that is sport weight, 181 yards, grown, spun, and dyed in the USA. Oh, wow. Printed using wind energy on PC and FSC certified paper. And this is their chickadee base. It says 100% American wool, and it is like super light. Then there is a Duren Dye Works, D-U-R-E-N. That's what their tag looks like. Look, they have stackable fiber animals. And this is the Goldenrod colorway, 801010 Merino Cashmere Nylon, fingering 400 yards. So pretty and so springy. Gosh, girl. Wow. Look at that. All by the same dyer. This is Scottish Campion. Is that how you say that? Campion. Alice Starmore. Pure Shetland, two-ply wool, grown and spun in the Shetland Islands. That would be such a cool color work pattern a pillow. I don't know if you, you probably wouldn't want it on your skin, but I'm thinking like a color work pillowcase maybe. Oh my gosh. Look at these yarn babies. What? Blue moon fiber arts. And this is easy breezy, beautiful colorway <laughs> instead of, instead of cover girl. Wow. These are chunks. 765 yards. That's a sweater. I can get a sweater out of this. Holy cow. Rosalind, I am speechless. Okay, so this is tied up so pretty. I feel like this needs to be a giveaway, don't you? I feel bad taking it out of there. This is hand dyed in Vermont, round mountain fibers inspired by nature. That is one of the coolest labels ever. Can't see the colorway though. Oh wait, Nuda Branch Cristata, it kind of looks like. And then this is Tosh DK, one of a kind. I feel like it's so pretty, it needs to go together. Oh my gosh, this is like Christmas. Got a couple little stitch markers. I love those. Oh, look at that little guy. You can hang it on a bag and put notions in it. And it opens up, or headphones. Ooh, I like it. You can stash all sorts of little goodies in there. And then a little notions pouch. I love these, they're great too preload and just throw in with your bag so that way you don't have to take your entire notions pouch with you you can just throw it into whatever project you're working on okay and then she said this is specifically for me but it's it's wrapped in that same way that this one is thank you for supporting my small business so so burning oh my gosh what that's so fun it's an owl. So it has handles, right? But also it has 
drawstring. So it's a project bag, but you can put it over your shoulder. I love it. Thank you so much. That is the sweetest. I will put some in the prize bin for sure. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, last, you guys. This is huge, huge. Mace of Skeins. She is a yarn dyer. Macy, Macy, her name's Macy. And every time, every single time, Mace of Skeins, every single time, which is probably why she has that name. But then it gets stuck in my head and it, it doesn't go away. She's a yarn dyer. She has a podcast. She's freaking adorable. You should go watch her. If you like my energy, you'll like her energy. She sent me, she's like, hey, what's your address? I want to send you a, a, a little something. You guys, she's, she, her, her, her definition of little and my definition of little are not the same. I get this huge box. In the box is a six pack of beverages, all locally brewed in Texas amazing all different she sent me like the best of all the places i mean dude then like I, I i can't i i need i need i don't even know what order to go in here first i mean she sent me this sticker which i immediately put on here and an enamel pin for my little tapestry up here she sent me not one but two sock sets this is cherry blossom. Sorry, it's getting really blown out, like way blown out. Goodness. And this is la, la, la. Lily of the Valley. These are fingering weight, superwash merino, 25% nylon. There is a 50 gram skein and a 20 gram skein. So the 50 gram skein is 200 yards and the 20 gram skein is 92 yards. And she's in Fort Worth. Yes, Fort Worth, Texas sent me those which giveaways giveaways because I feel like a gluttony gluttonous pig spoiled rotten so then she sent me these two skeins I, I'm so sorry that it's getting uh, uh. Uh, it's just gonna be blown out sorry guys well you'll you'll see it you'll see it stand by because you're gonna go look at her website so it's not gonna matter that these are blown out this is tulip and this is sunday sunday like the day not like the ice cream these are in her spring collection i believe tulip she also has and i kept this in the crinkles sorry i mean shut up these are all the colors that's in this skein so she sent me this i, I feel like i have to give all this away i, I i'm serious maybe i'll keep one sock set and give away the rest. Macy, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not even done, I'm not even done. So she sent me, I'm gonna mess these up. She launched her spring set on April 16th and she only had 30 of them for sale. She sent me two, one of each colorway and said that I could keep one and give away the other. I mean, people are amazing. What? Look at that. So cute. This one is called May Flowers. And then in the little bag, so you get a project bag, in the little bag, you get her spring sticker. And then there, I mean, look how freaking cute these are. From Vix Knits, little stitch markers. And then I thought there was something else. Oh, who the bag's from? The bag is from May's Miscellanea. So you get the sock set, the bag, the sticker, and the stitch markers. Then this one, same bag, same stitch markers. And this one is called April Showers. What was this one? Oh, April Showers, May Flowers. I get it. See what she did there? Clever. Hey guys, look, Dan's here. He just got done running, right? Biking, biking. For those of you who do that sort of thing for pleasure and not because someone's chasing you, there's a thing called Strava, and I guess there's a big, it's sort of like it's a video of, game. Oh, shit. What's Strava? It's a tracking app. Oh, so I'm not totally off. Oh, uh, no. Okay, Zwift. And it's like you're in a video game riding your bike, and he rode up like Mount Everest or something, 
right? It's it's like playing a video game, but instead of a controller doing this, your body is the controller. So the faster you pedal, the faster you go in the game. And you can turn and yeah, go up hills and stuff. Uh, hey, what are you drinking? Beer. What kind of beer? Against my will. I was twisting his arm. Peer pressured into drinking a beer. Uh, this is a Texas beer from Macy. It is. Texas Red American Amber. What's the brewing company? I can't read backwards. Uh, American Amber Rar and Sons. Rar R A H R and Sons. Is it good? I, I, I don't know. Oh, you haven't tasted it yet. No. Taste it. Drink it. Drink the beer. It's a decent red. That's them. I'm yeah. actually talking about Macy right now. Here's what we're gonna do. Since she sent me all this yarn stuff, we're gonna do a giveaway. I don't know how many I'm gonna draw for. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. More than one. More, there's, there's gonna be more than one person who wins this giveaway, I just don't know how many more. Here's what we're gonna do. I have never done this before. We're gonna do a- My left eye look all droopy. I was thinking the same thing. Am I having a seizure? I hope not. It's probably because you run yourself ragged with training. I don't run myself ragged. Wait till you hear this story, you guys. It's a good story. Stay, stay tuned for the story. Back to the giveaway. I am going to do a YouTube comment giveaway. Here's the rules. I want you to go to Macy's store. You keep talking, I'm gonna get a different chair. I want you to go to Macy's shop. It'll be linked below. Obviously, drink, drink. It'll be linked below. I want you to tell me what you love or what you buy in the comments below. Don't say giveaway, I guess that's bad because then all these trolls come or something. I think my chair got out of the thrift store, I love it. Me and my old lady. Old lady chairs. <laughs> Ooh, you smell good. Of course I do. I took a shot. <laughs> uh, <that's not> <laughs> Don't say giveaway. I guess that's bad. Tell me what you love or what you buy from Mace of Skin's shop. I will draw winners the next time I record. So that being said, you know me and my recording schedule, very sporadic. Post a comment. You may or may not be included in the drawing depending on if I have recorded an episode or not. If there's obviously one already posted after this episode, then you know that the drawing's over for sure. But I'll record on the next episode, or record. I'll draw a prize winner on the next episode. You are so antsy. Keep I wanna record with you, I wanna record with you, but I can't sit still. I got ants in my pants. I was not prepped for my errand. Had I been, I'd have had a chair, so I didn't have to stand. And had pads that I matched. So if you want to win some Mace of Skin yarn, be for sure, be for sure. Be for sure. The hell does that even mean? You know what I haven't said in a, a long time is that other thing I always used to say. What hot pad holders? No, I still say hot pad holders. I don't know, what was it? I always say everyone's yelling at the screen. I haven't said it wrong in a long time though. Anywho, the other cool thing, because I said, remember if you comment, below what you love or what you buy from Macy's shop. She has a coupon code for us. Grab yo drank for 10% off. That's right. That's cool. Yeah, it's her enamel pin and I have a sticker. Nice. That matches. Obviously. Obviously. Okay, so that coupon code works until the end of May. So get on it. Copyrighted, don't do that, I'll cut it out. I will cut it out. Cut it out. Oh God, I talked about him earlier. Danny DeVito? Baby, no. Dan just learned who Taylor Swift was like two years ago. It's not Danny DeVito. Taylor Swift sings songs. Your jaw is still oh, yeah. Thank you for all the happy mail. Obviously my heart overflows. Miscellaneous stuff, the yarn coitus mal is still happening, but today's your last day because April 30th is Friday. And in a perfect world, this will load, this will upload to YouTube on Friday. Future Chevis again. I've changed my mind and I'm allowed to do that because I do what I want. And it's my mail. Instead of the yarn coitus mal being over on April 30th, I am going to extend the deadline until May 8th. And that's because April 30th is my dad's birthday and we are going home on May 8th 
to celebrate it with him and I'm gonna make him draw the winners. You've been told. The yarn coitus mal, if you're doing it, do all the hashtags, all the infos in down below. There's a Ravelry thread for FOs. You can hashtag it on Instagram and I'll use all those things to draw a winner for the yarn coitus mal. And that's it, except cool. <laughs> the very last thing before we go see Cole for his birthday. I'm so excited. We were gonna tell you about- About why we should be wrapped in Yeah, bubble why we wrap. should be wrapped in bubble wrap. As some of you know, Dan is, does triathlons. He trains a lot all the time. Like how long did you, how many miles did you ride today? Uh, doesn't count, two and a half hours. Why doesn't miles count? Because I rode up a mountain. Oh, yeah, he rode his bike for two and a half miles up a mountain. Two and a half hours. Or what, what'd I say? Miles. Oh, yeah, two, two and a half. It was more than two and a half hours. <laughs> two and a half hours. Anywho, two, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago yesterday. Two weeks ago yesterday, he swam 2,000 meters, which is like just under an hour swim. Well, and it's a half an hour, but it took me an hour. Oh, okay. If you're Olympic level, you can do that pretty quick. He's not... Olympic level. Well, and, and you're not a big swimmer. I mean, triathlons is run, bike, swim, and, or swim, bike, swim run. bike, run. Living in the Midwest is not something that... His swim training is way less than his biking and running training. Because he swims at the Y and that's like, you know, a certain day. Anywho, did that hard swim comes home and instead of refueling, he starts working because he has ants in his pants and he's always on the go. No, it's because he has an acre of grass to cut and stuff to do and you. <laughs> Don't blame me. Really? Really. We weren't going out. I didn't have to get all that stuff done so we could go get dinner or whatever we were going to do. No. What were we going to do? Costco. That is not me. I never want to go to Costco. No, but we have to. Never want to do dishes or laundry, but you oh, have to. Oh, that's such bullshit. I would totally do dishes if we have a dishwasher, and I would totally do dishes if Dan didn't I would disagree. do dishes all the time if I had someone to do them for me. And Dan doesn't like the way I do dishes. Turns the water on full blast and lets it run for 20 minutes straight. Dishes are done when the hot water heater is empty. Because I No, when the water weird. heater is empty. Because I have this weird thing about sticking my hands in... Dirty dishwater. I can't do it. Anyway, we're not talking about me here. We're in the craft. I'm in the craft room. To. I'm in the craft room. Dan comes in. T tell me about his day. Tell me about his swim. Whatever. He's on the floor with Ditto and like loving on Ditto. I walk out of the craft room and go into the bathroom, which is just like right across the hall. And Dan walks down the hall and it sounds like he falls. Like terrible, terrible fall. And I was like, Dan, are you okay? And I go out into the hallway and dude seriously fell. Like I either thought that he tripped over his feet or he tripped over Ditto. And I was like, are you okay? It took him a minute. It scared the shit out of me, you guys. It took him a minute. It wasn't a minute. There was a pause. It could be, and that's a different thing. But there was a pause. There was a pause. Like and, 10 seconds. And he said... Which is nine seconds longer than normal. He said, well, I'm bleeding, so that can't be good. Stands up. I mean, blood is like gushing out of his face. I'm freaking out. He's in the mirror. And you guys... We will not be posting that picture. Yeah. No, 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 no. So I'm like, that stitches... Plans have changed for the evening. We go to the, the urgent care. Well, I'm in the bathroom, right? And I, there wasn't blood running everywhere. Dude, yeah, it was, yes. Yet. And that's where I got, that's why I haven't shaved is, so there's my scar. I had stitches all across my chin that I... Laid so it open. I fell face forward. Blah. No hands. I asked him if he tripped over his feet or the dog, and he said he didn't know. So up till this point, we had no idea what had happened. So we didn't know what happened exactly, like step by step. Turns out we have enough cameras in the house that we, I actually got it on camera. So I get to watch me fall oh, and hit the But ground. you're out of order. I'm not. There you are. Walked out of the craft room, fell. Right, but we went to urgent care and had no idea what happened. So we're in urgent care and we call his mom and he, I mean, he didn't catch himself. And we didn't even think about that. And his mom's like, did he pass out? And I was like, I don't know, did you pass out? And he's like, I don't know, maybe. She's like, because typically when you fall, you put your hands out to catch yourself. So the fact that you did it- Involuntarily. 
the fact that you, you just, didn't when you fall over you put your arms up out whatever yeah the fact that you didn't do that makes me think that you passed out so got up Walked into the bathroom, see what was going on, saw this. She said, oh my God, chin, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I spit into the sink and it was all blood. I was like, oh God. I look at my lip, I had to have stitches inside the lip because I bit it when I fell. The reason he had I fell- six stitches in his chin and three on the three inside. Three on the inside. The reason I fell is any normal person, if you stand up really fast, you'll get a head rush. Everybody's had that. So now we're like, why did he pass out? Obviously he didn't eat enough food, yada, yada. Or, you know, replenish his fuel after the workout. Well, my cousin told me that her daughter, also my cousin, has this thing called syn syncope. Syncope, yeah. Syncope which is basically just where you pass out, like for all different sorts of reasons. And that's what it is. Fancy medical term for passed out. So now I'm terrified all the time that he's gonna pass out. So that's the story of what Dan did. And yeah, then- That's a little bit of the story. A little bit of the story. She could cut all the rest out. Oh, because it's too much, it's too much. They all wanna know. We're a yarny place, not a medical place. They got the is gist. Is he gonna die? Do you have to watch him? I am scared that you're gonna pass out all the time now. But, but uh, people that I'm have it- explain why I track everything. No, no, okay. no. All right. Do that on your channel. I'm kidding, he doesn't have a channel. I do too. I have over 50 views. <laughs> He can feel it coming on. So like if you stand up real fast and get lightheaded, other people have it like when they see the sight of blood. I mean, all sorts of, there's all sorts of things that can make you pass out. That's our story. We're sticking to it. That's why everyone is saying that we need to be in bubble wrap because... What did you tell them about you? Well, I told them about me on the 10 question, the 10 yarny questions oh, about walking okay. off the curb in Chicago and I'm a gimp now and yeah. Both yeah. within a week. Yeah. So I can't eat and she can't walk. We're quite the pair. Yeah. But okay, we are now going to go to Ohio and love on coal. I so hope I get good pictures. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Till the next time.